it was great. Oh, she was Everything. just phenomenal. She was really? just phenomenal. She was a phenomenal. Her speech woman. was great. Yeah. yeah. Her, she was great. She looked great. Yeah. I mean, you know, from the duration of what she's been through. Yeah. I mean, she has really come full circle. Mm -hmm. And that's a blessing by itself. Yeah. Because they tried to destroy her. But God said, not on no. my watch. Okay. Um, and I got that from her. From her. You know, yeah. because yeah. service is universal. Hello, YouTubers. Welcome to my channel. So first, I just want to thank everybody who supported me coming here, wanting to help me get a ticket and uh, how they were able to get so many people here is what I'm going to tell you how they did it. This was a heavily as we would expect, right? Mostly women. It was a good mixture between black and white women, but I saw mostly black women than I did white women. They seemed middle class. They seemed like they were executives, even high level executives, um, people that would be able to afford to pay for a, for a seat at a table because $5,000 is $500 per person at that table for 10 people. Okay, so I'm walking there and I'm going to the registration table and it is long. I mean, it is like so many people there. So I just sit down next to the registration table. Here I am <laughs> sitting, waiting to, you know, for the line to get smaller. And uh, there were a couple of chances to speak with people. And so there was another lady sitting next to me and... I spoke to her. She wasn't very interested in talking. She was just like, uh, okay. <laughs> she just, she got up and left at some point. And then there was another lady that came and sat down next to me. And then she started speaking to me, very nice lady. And, um, I, I had told her about, you know, where I live. She, she lived in the next time zone over. So she, um, she drove about two hours. So did I two hours to come to the event. I did hear from the first lady that was sitting there that people had actually flew in, got hotel rooms and were staying here at the hotel um, overnight. So this is like a big deal, like nationally for women. I'm sure all over throughout the country, women were flying here to attend this event. And the lady that I was speaking with, did you buy one ticket? She goes, no, it was a group of us. She says, I'm with the Sussex squad. <laughs> yeah she's with the Sussex squad and uh, they found out on Twitter and she talked about how they don't really know each other personally they just all met here so they had been organizing to attend this event for months I guess right when it was announced I have to look at when it was announced because she said they have been planning for a while did they know firsthand this was going to happen prior to it being public I don't know. That's that's interesting to find out. OK, find out when this actually was published, this event to know that. But I must stress the lady was really nice. I spoke to her. I said, no, I wasn't able to get my ticket. I'm trying to see if I can get a ticket if someone canceled. And um, I said, if someone cancels at your table, let me know. <laughs> let me know right so she was like okay and then she was getting ready to leave and she she said she wished me luck she she said I hope you were able to get a seat and I said thank you and it was really nice so <laughs> it was just okay so then then the the line was dying down to register and I'm thinking okay so this is my chance I'm going to go get in line I'm going to try to see if I can get a seat to get a blue wristband because you had to have a blue wristband okay so I say I wanted to know if I could purchase a ticket um, I don't have a table but if someone's canceled perhaps maybe here's my credit card <laughs> can I buy a ticket can I buy one seat and they gathered this uh they went and got this other lady very nice black lady came and said oh okay come with me and she grabs me by the hand very nice and friendly lady and she walks me over to this other lady that is standing with a binder and she's got a list 
and she's like the gatekeeper you guys she's like the lady like like this is the lady that makes the decisions okay and so I give her the same spiel about you know can I get an individual ticket and she says absolutely not no 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 individual tickets are being sold no and I was like okay <laughs> okay lady like it was weird it was like she like it was like she put up her defenses so quickly like who just approaches people with a question or answers a question a simple question that rude like how why would you be that rude about it and and why wouldn't you allow people to purchase individual tickets like what's the big deal if if people have canceled if they're willing to pay for one ticket why not allow them to just yeah we have some some cancellations we I'll, I'll swipe your credit card you can go in it, it, it wasn't like there was this big ordeal where you had to go through this security check prior to purchasing your ticket you could just go online and buy the ticket for a table so I said well if someone's canceled I mean there you can't just sell me one ticket she's like no no we we, we knew that we were not going to do it and and, and it's like she just went on about how it was just not possible to get an individual ticket and I said well my this battle was lost I'm like I tried I tried so I walk away thinking I have to leave. I have to leave. <laughs> I tried. I tried. <laughs> so as I'm walking and leaving, the lady is behind me. Like there's this long corridor to get to where I was to where the elevators are. So I'm like doing the walk, right? <laughs> I'm just doing my walk to the elevator. And the lady, I hear her talking to somebody behind me while I'm I'm still walking then I stop because I hear this lady actually repeating the exact same conversation that we just had about me wanting to buy an individual ticket like she is telling like three people like people that may work at this organization I don't know but she was just like reiterating this and like very huffy voice and like really bothered by the fact that I had the audacity to come and want to buy one ticket like this bothered this woman she wasn't happy she was like something wrong something wrong with you woman why you want to buy one ticket huh hmm you want one ticket mm -mm. this is this is a 10 ticket place you can only get 10 hello you guys so here i am i'm outside the doors of where they're having the women's fund event with megan markle and here's the door right between those doors are me and megan markle should i go in there and be a disruptor what should i do tell me no. So all the encouragement right. that she's giving a lot of women, mm -hmm. you know, through the podcast, just from her being who she is, right. from the, you know, the, like I said, the duration, the abuse stuff mm -hmm. that she had to take from the hands of the British media. And she's still standing. She said today that they didn't bury her because seeds keep developing and keep growing. She said, you thought you buried me in the podcast. You yes. thought you buried oh, me, but, I'm but a seed. you forgot I'm a that seed. I'm a seed. So we can she talked a lot about just women's empowerment and uh, finding your voice. I thought overall it was wonderful. I, you know, I think empowering women is such an important thing that we do. And, mm -hmm. you know, hearing this talk tonight, it was kind of a... You know, just a little zhuzh. I lead a women's network at work and I was taking notes of what can I bring back to my group and what are some important things that, you know, that we that resonated with me and that will resonate with, with the people in my company. Some of the things, there was a good, good portion about, you know, not about having your voice be heard, but to just use your voice. Use the voice that I have. Uh, stop trying to find your voice. We, we all have our voices, and so just move forward with, with using the voice that you have. You know, the, voice, the voices of women matter, and that we need to not be afraid to use our voices. There are people out there that when we speak, that they listen and they hear us. When we say things, 
they resonate with people and it might not be everyone but the right person is going to get the words that you want them to hear oh my biggest takeaway is we don't have to find our voice we have to use our voice it was really exciting to me to, to learn more about the women's fund and hear from the duchess was phenomenal everything she said connecting to just the power of using our voices the power of um, finding ways to connect again and to have conversation again is just so timely and so it really resonated with me did she talk about the royals or her family or no, I kind of thought that was going to come up at some point, but I really appreciated that it recognized who she is as a woman and the things that she's always held dear and the things that have um, kind of made up her identity and who she is and the causes she's believed in and championed and everything before, you know, the last ex of her, I don't really follow the royal family like that, so the last however many years ago it was where she was cast into this international spotlight. I like yeah. that that wasn't the focus tonight. It was really about talking about women and girls and, and the issues that are, that everybody holds dear and is intertwined in all of our lives in some way or another. Empowerment, yeah. a woman, and so many ways to do that, and um, the value of sisterhood, which is another good one, yeah. and just a uh, yeah. really nice conversation. Was yeah. he already there? Is Harry here? No, uh, maybe he's, maybe well, he's she somewhere. Maybe yeah. he is somewhere. She did, she talked yeah. about him? Yeah. And her yes, children? Yes, she did. She yeah. did, she mentioned yeah. them. Okay, and she the royal did. family, she talked about them? Or no, her, no, no. Her family no. or nothing? No. 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 <laughs> and also just the self-identity, not to, you know, allow external, especially social media, to define who you are. And also just how to help our kids, young people nowadays to Absolutely. to not be swayed by all that noise out there. Oh my goodness, yeah. negative noise. Yeah. Yeah. And to be a voice. Okay, you guys, so here I am. I'm back from uh, talking to the people at the event, and wow, people were really geared up. They were so inspired. They were so enthusiastic about the words that Megan said. Um, all in all, she kept her speech pretty general. It was no focus really on the royal family or her own family. Um, Harry, they don't believe, was there. She did speak about him in the speech. It was a inspiring moment for a lot of people. And I can see how she's going to take her words from her experiences that she had within the royal family. And she's going to use that to elevate her brand of inspiration and to use your voice. Be empowered. I never knew there were so many women who didn't feel like they had a voice. I really did not know so many women thought they did not have a voice. For me personally, my voice is my camera and my microphone and I sit here and I speak and I talk about the things that she says and I voice my opinion and I feel empowered. I did not need Meghan Markle to tell me this. I didn't need some other motivational speaker to tell me. I have my voice. I don't need someone to give me a false pretense to use my voice because I think that is conjecture. I think that is trying to bamboozle your way into something that really is just flat. I think the best inspiration that you can give is to be the example that you want to live by so that people see you and they're inspired by your works and what you actually do, not by the words that you say. But if your actions are not observed in the daily papers, if you're living abroad and your behavior is not talked about and you don't really follow it in a foreign country, then you're a perfect candidate for someone who could be listening to the words that she says and believe it because you don't know what her actions were. Megan's claim to fame is, is that she is speaking to a demographic of women, Americans, African-American women who don't know much about the royal family. Not interested. They just know that she is a member of the royal family and that what she says is the truth. As you heard from the interviews, the women really believe that she was being pried upon, that she wasn't able to use her voice because of how people tried to break her and how she is this seed that is going to grow. This inspired the women so much. They were elevated to look at her as this martyr of a woman. 
that this woman is so empowering that she is giving these women the feeling that they can go out and do whatever they want to do. But I really wanted to approach this as neutral. I'm here to see and to give my feedback on what I saw. And what I saw were people, women who were believing the lies that she put out there. And no fault to the women. They just believe it because they hear it. It feels good. You know, they can relate to her because, you know, her black mother, that she's a sister girl, even though she don't really look like a sister girl, like she is a sister girl. So they're going to take this with them and they're going to use the inspiration of this woman and her story to go do what they're going to do and not really doing the words that she spoke. That's my biggest takeaway from it all. So... I don't know how well it will be received by a lot more people, but at the same time, it will definitely reach a place in America to help fuel the celebrity that she is trying to elevate. <laughs>